Brushing allows you to select data on a dashboard and show related items within the same view. Today I'm going to show you why this is useful and how to implement this simple concept on your dashboards using Dundas BI. Oh, and I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. Let's first start with an example. Here's a quick dashboard that I put together showing the United States election results in 2004. We're showing one data set in many different ways with the chord diagram as the center focal point of the dashboard. Brushing allows me to use and explore this data set very quickly. As you can see as I highlight party, state, either in the map or in the labels, we can quickly see related data being highlighted. You'll also notice that since the chord diagram is fairly overloaded in itself, and it's hard to see everything immediately, brushing helps because we can mouse over this chart and just make sense of all the series overlapping each other very quickly. By the way, brushing also works on a legend if you have one where a chart gets very complex with overlapping series. I sometimes see these a lot with line charts. There are other visualizations available, but sometimes you do want to put everything on one visualization for one reason or another. Now, how do we set this up? Well, you're quite literally done already. Data brushing is automatically there, and you'll notice if you build a dashboard that there's a magic parameter that shows up called a brush view parameter. It shows up in all of your dashboards. This parameter is basically what chooses what's going to be displayed as you start mousing over. So if I mouse over an object on a dashboard, it's going to copy the parameter of that object into the brush view parameter, and that's how the highlighting takes place. It's all done automatically. You don't have to worry about it. Now, if you don't want brushing for some reason, deleting the brush view parameter simply removes it, and that's it. Now, one other thing that's very helpful is sometimes the ability to click and have the brushing stay highlighted because you might want to take some time or do further analysis. You can absolutely do this as well. Now, if you go in and you first disable automatic brushing using this property, then all you have to do is click on one of your visualizations, create an interaction, a filter interaction specifically, and on click, feed information into that brush view parameter. So if I wanted, for example, on this chart or the map, simply to click on it and have it stay highlighted, I absolutely can. It doesn't have to be a mouse over, although the mouse over is a very nice way of doing it as well. And that's all. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? I really like how the selection mechanism lets you explore and understand your data that you're seeing a little bit more. Now, do you like this concept and how easy it was to implement? Take a look at our video on the importance of annotations as they're an equally easy thing to implement to give better insights to your data. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.